Hey everybody, Venthro's coming back at you with tutorial number three. Uh, we're going to put some doors into uh, the town that we made in the last tour tutorial called Townville. Um, you know, just while, while we were away, I just added a couple windows, some signs, a tree, and you could do that just by playing around with the um, B tab in your exterior tile set for your town. Um, just go nuts with it. Um, just make sure you have enough room to place your doors. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Um, your doorways, at least. Um, you go to your B tab. And right here, this row of tiles here are all your different doorways that your doors can live in. Um, I like the second one in. Uh, I'm going to place them one here, one there, and the third one there. Um, we're not going to do anything with these two buildings right now, but we are going to make an in. And to do that... Uh, we're first the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new map for the inn. So we're going to make sure Townville is highlighted because we want the inn to be in Townville. Um, so new map. Let's call the map in. Let's change the tile set to number three, excuse me, interior. And everything else we're going to leave the same. And don't, don't think you have to change the background music because we like the back you know we changed the background music when we went from the world map to the town because we changed that music to the town music but we're still in the town so we don't have to change the music so we can hit okay uh, we're gonna leave everything else the same and here's our uh, in here's what it looks like right now uh, a whole lot of nothing so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna draw our walls and our floor and then we're gonna add uh, a few little things and then add an event uh, that allows us to stay at the inn. Okay, so right now you want to go over here to the tile set and go to tab A. That's where all your floors and your walls and uh, things like that are going to be, um, as you can see here. So on my screen, it is the last two tiles here that we're going to work with. Okay, um, they might be in a different position based on your screen resolution or whatever but um, look for these tiles and the first one we're going to use is this lightly colored brown one and this is going to be the wall and this is going to be kind of the ceiling alright so I always leave a, a, a space here on the right and left edges alright so we're going to do a line there and a straight line down here now, because we kind of want to give an illusion of 3D in a 2D world, we are going to leave some space here to add our wall, okay? So, I'll show you that in a minute. Then we're going to take our ceiling and go across here, all right? And then we're going to go um, across here to there, okay? We want our character to come in through here. Talk to the innkeeper, which is going to be located here, and then the beds are going to be in a separate kind of room, kind of divided off here. So let's go ahead and make that room now, and it doesn't have to be the exact same specifications as mine. All right. So I'm going to show you why I left this much space here. Now let's draw our walls here. Okay. Um, you can use the square, uh, the, the pencil tool. I'm going to use a rectangle tool to do this. All right. When you do that, you give depth, okay? Click and drag here. Now our wall kind of has some depth, okay? Our room has depth to it. So we're going to go like that and just draw our walls in like such. And the reason I left space here, our wall is two squares deep here. So let's make it two squares deep here. And then our character is going to be able to walk through and see the room where the beds are. Cool. All right. So let's draw our floors now. You can use any of these floors you want, uh, whatever tickles your fancy. I'm going to use um, this floor here. It's the third tile on the left-hand edge here. Um, I'm just going to fill it in like that with the rectangle tool. You can do it however you want to. All right, there we go. So now we kind of have the shell of our building. Um, next, um, we're going to add the counter that the innkeeper is going to be standing behind. So your counters are going to be here, these four tiles here on the right hand edge. You can use any of them that you want. 
Uh, I'm going to use the light brown one. And we're going to go with a basic kind of L shape. I have my rectangle tool still on, so we'll just go like that and join it. A little L shaped counter. Okay. And then just for, uh, just for, you know, add a couple little details here. Let's add our bed. So we're on the B tile of uh, the B tab here. And you can choose any of these beds. I'm thinking it's kind of like a small town. So we're going to use this uh, brown bed here. So remember, you click and drag. And we'll put one, two, three, four beds. Doesn't have to be per uh, perfect, okay? And if you want, you can do like a little, you know, a little end table here if you want. You can put one here. You know, you can get you can get crazy with it. But this is the main thing we wanted to do. All right, so let's put our innkeeper in here. So we are going to click the event editing mode to bring up our tiles, our events, and then we are going to right click on one of these squares, go down to quick event creation, and in. So the price is pretty self-explanatory. That's how much the player is going to have to pay to stay there. We can leave that at 10, uh, 10 gold. You can change the graphic if you want. If you want to, double click the graphic and then you can see here on the left all the different categories of graphics. Um, you know, you can do an insane, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. I, I, you know, I'm not real, uh, you know, I'm not real picky. You know, you can do whichever one you want. I'm going to leave it the way it was. I'm going to leave this little old lady looking innkeeper lady here she looks like she would keep it in i don't know hit okay and she's there the, the game did all the work for you okay you don't have to do anything um the inn is set all right so we're going to test it but first we're going to go back to townville so go over here click on townville to bring townville back up and we're going to create a door to go into the inn so do that right click on the doorway because we're still in event editing mode quick event creation and yes we're gonna click on door so first the graphic okay double click on that and then this pops up um, you know different options you go over here to these different tabs there's door two door three we're gonna leave it exactly where it was okay this door is fine uh, you can change it if you want um, that's up to you but we're gonna leave it as this one Destination, obviously we're not going to Townville because we're already in Townville and we don't want to go to the field because we want to go to the inn. So we want it to be right here. All right. So once you have that done, press OK. Press OK again and that door is set. So let's try it out. Save changes, of course. All right, so we're to go into Townville. We're going to go into the door. And it should take us into the inn, which it does. Ten G for one night. Would you like to stay? Sure. It already the game told you what uh, put in already what music to play, how to do everything. So that's that. Now, I didn't create an event to leave the inn to go back to Townville, so let's do that real quick before we call it a day. Um, let's go to event editing mode, which we are, and let's quick create a transfer event to take us back to Townville. And it can be right outside the door. And we want to face down. Okay. And then we want to copy. And we can control V. Paste the event there. So no matter which way you, which one of these squares you go out, you'll go to the same place. Let's test it. Always test it. Always test it. Always test it. I can't say that enough. You don't want to do hours of work just to find out something doesn't work. It's 
So let's go into the inn. We already know that the inn works, so let's leave. And now we're back to Townville. I want to take a time, uh, take an opportunity to thank you guys for sticking with me on these tutorials. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any suggestions on tutorials you want to see in the future, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, like I said, I, I do want to go into a crawl walk run phase, um, and um, we've got a lot done. Uh, we've already made some events. Uh, we're gonna make a couple more events in the next tutorial. Um, and until then, I'm Benthros. Thanks for watching.